So, you're trying to find your mate in arms, huh? Well, luckily for you, there are 15 unique characters you can choose from. Now you're probably wondering, Greenhouse, which character did you choose? I bet it looks I picked the green one. Yeah, that one. So, Helix. What in the name is this thing? Perhaps the biggest question is, why would you want to main him? Well, compared to the other cast of characters, Helix's gameplay is much more complex than other characters than let's say Springman. Apart from being just super weird, Helix just plays a lot more differently than most characters like Springman. He's a lot more complex in how you're supposed to play him, and finding out how to play him can be pretty difficult. In fact, getting used to just his movements is a, is a little bit of a challenge. So, as a fellow Helix main, I'm going to try my best to give you some tips and some tricks on how to play Helix. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Helix is default armor, just a no-go. Lorb just acts like a weird version of the toaster that bounces up and down. The only benefit is that it's a heavy arm and ha gives you a funky grab. Ice Dragon actually isn't even that bad. In fact, it's the only good arm he probably has. And Guardian. Don't get me started on Guardian. Alright, if we're being real though, Helix's default arms are probably his weakest subject. In fact, I, I would advise you just stay away from these arms. They're not they're not the best to use for Helix. They're too slow and too funky for his playstyle. But if you have to use them for some godforsaken reason, eh, I'll give you just a little bit of tips for each arm. First off, the blorb, a bouncy blob of goo. This arm acts really weird. This arm is like a bouncy ball. You throw it, it goes upwards in kind of an arc, and then it bounces as it hits the ground. The only really good thing I can say about this arm is the fact that it gives you a really funky grab. Seriously, pair this arm with any other arm, and uh, you'll just get one crazy grab. Next up, we have the Ice Dragon, which in my opinion is probably his best default arm. This dragon, when charged, shoots an ice-cold laser beam that gives the freeze element, which actually the freeze element is pretty good, not gonna lie. And, uh, yeah, this arm's pretty good. Next up, we have the Guardian. Oh, the Guardian. Okay, actually, though, do not use this arm with Helix. If you say you probably use the Guardians with Helix, I will literally tell you to sleep with one eye open. This arm is super bad with Helix. They just move too slow for Helix, and as a matter of fact, you'd be left open more times than you think, especially when you equip two of them. The electrical element is fine, I guess, but it's not really worth it with the fact of how slow it is. Literally, the only good thing I can say about these things is that it buffs your grab by 10. If you have two of them. Now, pairing them with other arms are probably the better choice if you remotely want to do a good with them. I find that Blorb Guardian is okay if you really want to use the Guardian. It's still not good though. Guardian is just way too slow. Ice Dragon Guardian is also a pretty good combo that's good to use, but even then, you really shouldn't use the Guardian. There are so many other arms that are just faster and get the job done better than Guardian. Blorb Ice Dragon's pretty good. You could throw out the Blorb as a bait and then cover a wide area with the Ice Dragon. But even then, I'll explain later on in the video, but there are just so many other arms that are just better to pair with the Ice Dragon and just better to use other than the Blorb. Double Ice Dragon actually gets the job done way faster than you would think. These suckers cover a wide area, and Helix is still able to move while he throws one of them out, making him very unpredictable when he uses these things as a double. But it's also better to just pair it with a faster arm, but using just two of them standalone isn't that bad. In fact, this is the only arm combo I'd recommend using it with his default arms. But even then, I'm gonna have to say, it's better to just equip other arms. His default arms are no good, they're way too slow for how he'll have to be playing him. But if you have to use them, the, this is the best advice I can give for them. Well, we're done with this section, now it's time to move on to the next section, which is what arms you SHOULD use for Helix that aren't the Guardian. 